A&M training have impressive statistics about the reduction in youth vandalism, street disorder and young people's drinking in the community. They are really making a difference. Young people are getting qualifications in coaching, in volunteering, in education. We are delighted that they have won. They are really grassroots focused, they're driven through the community and they are making an enormous difference. A&M came about through uh, Robert and Andy and the idea was very much of working with young people from the most deprived areas of Glasgow and Scotland in the wider sense. Andy's background being football, and Robert's background being youth work. They thought they could almost merge the two of them together and come up with the idea of speaking to young people but using football as the tool to engage with them in the first place. And when they've got them engaged, speak to them about alcohol abuse, drug misuse, gang affiliation, antisocial behaviour, involvement in negative lifestyle situations, with the whole idea being trying to improve life chances, get kids more active in sport, physical activity, more engaged in their community, more active in volunteering, and ultimately getting a job, going to college, going to university. I mean, Robert came up with a plan to, to go into schools and colleges, uh, and, and very quickly after that it snowballed into getting asked to do a bit of football and a bit of dance. We've always said from day one that 50% of what we do is being a football coach, another 50% is youth works, being social worker, whatever. Uh, and, and our coaches are really good at that, maybe noticing kids that, that maybe suffer a wee bit, or maybe get problems or issues in their lives. This programme has helped to reduce racism, sectarianism, isolationism of different communities who come to, to Glasgow or the UK, and it's integrated them into not just community life, but life in the city in general. Football's a hook uh, to, get them, to get them involved in, in a lot of other things. A lot of the stuff we do with the volunteering is, is basically just making them, making them punctual and making them, getting them ready to go to places. It sounds pretty basic, but it, it, can, it can make such a difference to, to somebody's life. Hey, wait! non -bib. If you come in Thursday night here also, we had a, a group around 40 kids in this patch, seven aside patch, 40 kids from 20 different nationality, seven different language, different culture, different backgrounds, but they have a one common language which can share with Scottish, British, English, everywhere, is football. That saved these people's life. They come to football, they meet new people, they integrate, they find new friends, and they can share their things. They can share the problems together, they can solve the problems together and enjoy. That's us. It's really rewarding. You know, you've seen some young kid at 13 and um, he's maybe not had a lot going on in his life and then you see him at 17, 18, he's got a job, he's moving on with his life, he's, he's doing something positive rather than a lot of the negative stuff that we read about. We see a real gap in the market for the young people we work with and we want to progress them further forward. So we'd like to deliver more employability based initiatives. That's currently linking into our volunteering programme at present, but we see that as being a separate channel that we can develop and move on in the future. Another thing we'd really like to develop is to deliver more activities of the same nature, diversionary based activities within high areas of deprivation to divert young people away from negative lifestyle choices in other areas of the country.